Hi guys, Nick Piambino here at the East Coast Mecca. I just completed my first ever MPC show. Hi, I'm Justin Miller. I'm Nick Piambino's coach. We're here at Bed Francis Powerhouse, the East Coast Mecca of bodybuilding. And Nick just got done competing in his first ever MPC show yesterday, the 2019 Bev Francis Atlantic States, where he won the juniors division in both bodybuilding as well as classic physique. He's 20 years old, he's a drug-free athlete, and this is gonna be a future superstar in the sport. The reason I first started lifting was because I wanted to get bigger and stronger for lacrosse. I first started lifting just over three and a half years ago and I never looked back. I love all the dieting, the hardcore training, and just the discipline that goes along with it. Nick has a, a, a mind that is beyond most of the competitors that I work with. He's only a young guy, he started working together when he was 19. He just turned 20 last month. You know, he has a mind of a champion, he never misses his meals. He's on point with everything he does. He follows instructions very well, he works very hard. He's a very laser focused individual. One of my favorite bodybuilders ever was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love how he looks. I loved his work ethic and I loved his drive and his passion for the sport. He has an Arnold-like physique and he has that side chest pose with the huge rib cage and big chest and he has a classic look to him. So today we did a back workout here at the East Coast Mecca and this is a great gym to do back. There's millions of back machines. So usually for back, I'm a fan of rowing. I think to build a big, thick back, you need to do a lot of rowing exercises. But like I mentioned, he just competed yesterday, so we don't want to overstress his lower back. So for today's purposes, we did more pull downs than we did rows, but we did both. Our first exercise was a basic lat pull down. And it's just, you know, to warm his back up and also just stimulate those lats. We just did some basics. We did three or four sets, keeping the rep range between like 10 and 12 reps. And the focus is just pulling your elbows down and fully contracting those lats, coming up and fully stretching. The second exercise we did was a, a variation of a lat pull down, but a one arm. And we did it on a machine where we're kind of reaching across the body and pulling down. And that one is strictly for width. We stayed on the same machine for the third exercise and we, we did a uh, two arm version of it where you're pulling down and actually the cables move. So as you're pulling down, you're pulling down and out. So again, you're, from the center line of the body, your hand's coming out as you're pulling, which gives you a really good contraction in, in the lats, and it works the middle area of the back. The fourth exercise that we did was uh, Nick's favorite exercise, which is what? Nick? The T-bar rows. I love them because you can go heavy and you can really work the lower lats. It's a great old school movement, and to me, that's, it's one of the best movements out there for building your back. Yeah, and you can't build a big back just doing pull down. Nick's very strong, so we just did that to kind of at least get some good stimulus of a, of, a, of a heavy rowing movement. It mixed in with the pull down movements. And the final exercise that we did was another variation of a lat pull down where you're using a reverse grip. When your elbows are out, and this this is for any back exercise. The wider your elbows, generally the less contraction in the lat. So on that exercise, we're doing not only close grip, but it's an underhand close grip, which really rotates those elbows in. So when he's stretching and when he's pulling on that underhand row, he's getting that deep contraction. You can see all the muscles that are contracting in his back. It's actually one of the staples that I use with George Peterson. Hi guys, this is a wrap on today's back workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm at the East Coast Mecca and I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them for allowing us to film here. Please give me a follow on Instagram. I'll have my link in the description. It's at Nicholas Piambino and you can follow my journey of becoming an IFBB pro completely drug free.